Shalom. How is everybody doing today? I pray that you're blessed. I am blessed. God is good even through every valley that you're in and every hill that you're on. He's good. So worship and praise him today. Our study is going to be on persecution and we're going to read Matthew chapter 5 um, verse 11 through 16 and then I'll share with you the understanding that I got. Matthew 5, 11. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt and the light of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Persecution. Jesus said that the world hated him, so it will hate you also. And the fiery darts flying all around us seeking a target to react. Our flesh is weak. So, if we don't meditate on God's word day and night, we will fall victim to the schemes and tactics from the devil. We don't want these attacks for they bring us hardship and pain, but God allows these attacks to give our vessels the opportunity to learn and grow and mature by the spirit of God working through them. Some people or vessels of God's creation are lost and are in darkness, being controlled by powers of the air and principalities of the earth. They got lost in the darkness by sin and death. Christ's life sacrificed for our sins gives us life and authority over our enemy, the devil, who tries to control our flesh when we give authority over to the devil, when we listen to the thoughts, the negative messages sent by him in our minds. Our minds hold the power who we listen to and follow and obey. If we get an idea to do anything, we hold that idea against laws and humanity, or else we might get a negative consequence for not having self-control in society. We meditate or think on consequences of our actions that we make in this world only if we get caught. Four, our maturity and accountability comes by worshiping and meditating on the word of God. Our flesh will work against the laws if we see that no one will hold a consequence to our actions. This weakness is, this is weakness in God's eyes and he cursed the day that he made man flesh. So God sent his son, his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, to save the world and to teach us how to overcome our flesh. Revelation chapter two and three is all about us, the seven churches, the lampstands, the body of believers on Jesus who have to overcome various fleshly trials, weaknesses that we have. Jesus said at the end of each church, that he believed in the body to overcome, like he overcame by living through this world together with man in flesh to teach us how to work in the spirit of God. Jesus told us we would be hated by this world for not doing what the world does. And Jesus taught us, taught us the world, the way, the truth, and the life through God's laws and commandments. 
when we meditate on them, we see a larger picture in life. We see that the persecution and the attacks can be used um, by the victim to pray for the one sending the persecution. We acknowledge that the battle is spiritual and we fight in the spirit through prayer and fasting. We cast out demons, we heal the sick, and we raise the dead. For the lost are dead and are sick and are blind to the truth and the light. And if you believe on Jesus, you have Elohim's light guiding you inside you and the spirit of God inside you guiding you. The spirit in his truth can shine light on the darkness and set the captives free. God gave promises to take care of us and to never leave us or forsake us. So he leaves the 99 to go after the lost. God does this through his willing vessels and this work will have persecution, but we understand that no weapon formed against us will prosper as we bind and cast out and heal and raise up in spiritual in the spirit we work the great commission this in this earth age that was created that this earth age was created for to bring the lost and the captives home by setting them free with the blood of jesus for this is the love story of god let's pray Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, we thank you so much for our day today. Thank you for the breath in our lungs to be used another day for your glory, for the kingdom. And we pray, Abba Father, that, that any attacks that you allow to be sent at us, Abba Father, I pray, Father God, for a supernatural covering over each vessel that has to endure. And I pray, Father God, that you will give them understanding in, in why you are allowing this, like in Job, and you can teach us and guide us and, and show us how we need to pray for the person sending that attack so that we can set them free through the blood of Jesus, through our faith in God, through the Holy Spirit that lives inside us and works inside us. Because our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The devil knows our name and the demons have to obey the authority and power that God, thank you, you've given us. So thank you for helping us understand why we are here and what our authority is and, and how we can help those that we see are hurting us instead of just crying and saying, oh no, we're getting hurt and attacked and the water's coming, that we can take our back our power and we can fight against it in the spirit and we can pray for that lost soul that is being used by the devil and we can help them get set free. Because God would allow that attack to happen so that we could shine light on the darkness. Because that is what we were sent here for. The Great Commission. To bring the lost home. So once we believe in Jesus, we are out. We are sent out as the disciples were. To set the captives free. All for the glory of God. And to bring the kingdom home. Thank you so much for this authority. We love you so much, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom.